friends and welcome back to another art video. If this is your first visit, my name is Beatrice. This is the Artifacts 23 channel and I'm all about bringing you a variety of art related content and to encourage you to follow your art. If that sounds amazing, please consider subscribing and remember to ring the bell so you'll be the first to know when there are new art vibes coming your way. Today I'm showing you how I rendered a double portrait in charcoal plus I'll share some of my own tips and tricks for creating a portrait with this beautiful medium. I was excited to receive this commission since I haven't done many human portraits in charcoal. So challenge accepted. Let's jump into the video. I used charcoal powder for the underlayers and simply applied it with a soft paintbrush. The process of charcoal drawing, especially a portrait, is all about the layering. Repetitive applying of the charcoal and blending it out until you get the right value for a specific area. All the details are added later using both black and white charcoal pencils. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you know by now that I really like high contrast in my work. It creates depth and definitely makes the overall piece look more realistic. In my opinion, contrast is any artist's best friend. like the eyes, you will see me starting with the darker tones. I use a soft or medium charcoal pencil for this step. If you use a hard charcoal pencil in this stage, you will find it is very difficult to blend out or even erase. Anyway, this step helps me to establish my values and also distinguish between darker and lighter areas once I start blending. Often, once the blending starts, it's easy to lose some of the lines from your initial sketch. So putting down the dark lines first just helps keep everything in place. When working with dry media like charcoal, graphite, pastel, etc., etc., remember to keep your work clean and prevent smudging by placing something under your drawing hand. I like to use a piece of tracing paper, but you can use glycine, wax paper or even an acetate sheet. You'll also see me using erasers quite a bit. That's an essential part of any drawing, removing some pigment to create highlights and to soften hard edges. Make sure to blend each layer very lightly. If you push too hard in the early stages, you might damage the tooth of the paper, making it difficult to add pigment later, especially when you are rendering skin tones. Blend often and use soft blending tools like tissue, q-tips, etc. Keep looking at your reference photo, especially when drawing faces. Sometimes we get so involved with the artwork we forget to check that we are still on track. In my video on ugly stages, I refer to the 20 minute rule where you take a step back every now and then. It really helps to put your progress in perspective.
The only thing I didn't actually record is the final stage of the background and that's simply because at the last minute I took some artistic license and decided to add a softer, out of focus, blurry effect. I think it's such a lovely picture and it shows how very much in love this couple is so I just wanted to create some magic to their artwork. And also the very dark background was just too harsh and showed no atmosphere or depth to the piece. To create that blurry effect I simply used this circle stencil and a kneaded eraser to lift off pigment in various values and sizes. I will leave all the supplies used for this piece in the description box below this video as well as a link to the video on ugly stages and a card will pop up here as well. As I started this commission, the client um, asked me to also draw their daughter. I will share that video with you as soon as the editing is done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find these tips helpful in your daily art endeavors. I will see you next time and remember to follow your art.